Yo, yo, we're back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this clean transition. This is pretty easy to do. And this looks so clean. So this is how we do it. So to start off, as you can see, we have all of this clip pulled up. So we're gonna add the transition in here. So to start off, select your clip and make a new adjustment line in here. And then go back two frames before you cut. And then you can just trim it. And then go back to the cut again and go back two frame forward and just trim it again. So we have this like four frame adjustment layer which we're gonna add the transition on so to start off we're gonna add a radial blur and set the type to zoom and at the start make the value to around amount to around like 33 and just hit the keyframe in it go over to the cut blow it down to zero or you can blow it down to two or something like that so it's like really subtle uh, maybe something like that maybe like something like five and go back to the end and set it to back to 33 so we have have this like crazy blur is going on to start off then with it we're gonna add a simple exposure and make an exposure transition so hit the stop button in the exposure in the beginning set it to zero go over to the cut and make it to something like four or five maybe let's just go with five and then you can go over to the end and just reset it to zero as well so we have this super cool flash right here before getting more into the video i just want to let you know i just dropped my ultimate 3d title bundle which comes with my latest pack 3d decks and title preset and one of my og pack the 3d title pack you already know the bundle allows you to add some crazy titles for your music video in just few clicks and also when you buy the bundle it's 28 dollar off so it's a steal for real i'll link it in the description if you want to check it out back to the video then now we're gonna add uh, another adjustment layer in here of our first adjustment layer and just trim it to like three frames so one two three and you can just stream it right here maybe something like here yeah that looks cool right there then in here we're gonna add a effect called echo and for the numbers of echo you can mess around i think two it looks best to me and then go over to the echo operator and set it to screen and then you will have like this time echoes going on then we're gonna hit t on our keyboard to bring up the opacity of the adjustment layer hit the stopwatch in it and put one keyframe one frame forward and go over to the end and set it to zero so something like that looks cool to me then one more thing i like to do is select my clip the second clip and hit asking my keyboard to bring up the scale and then you can just animate the scale so hit the stop button in it put it like three frame forward then you can just scale in to something like 200 and you can just easy use those keyframe go into graph and make a simple graph like this so it's a bit like smoother you can even like extend the keyframes a bit if you want so something like this so we have like the smooth zoom as well with it i can even bring it up if you like and in a clip you can even add like a flicker and bring the amplitude to 1.5 at the transition and hit the stopwatch in it and as it goes you can just lower it down to something like zero you can even make the graph a little tighter on the scale if you like so something like this and now we can see our transition looks something like this you can copy all of these keyframes and stuff into another layer so let's just copy this scale keyframe real quick and put it in here put it in here as well and make sure your motion blur is turned on as well and we're gonna copy the flicker individually as well so flicker in here flicker in here and you can just copy both of these like adjustment layer and paste it in here line it up so something like there you can copy again lined up i think i'm gonna copy the adjustment layer at the beginning as well and put it something around here so it's as a bit of like sauce in this footage as well so something like that looks cool to me at the beginning and let's just put it on the beginning as well and lastly to sauce it all up we're gonna select all of this clearly pre-comp it so move all attribute and pre comp then in here we're gonna add like unsharp marks firstly then just make the radius around 17 so we have this like crazy unsharp marks going on i love this look then to go with it you can add like a noise uncheck color noise and you can just bring up the noise amount on uh, to around 8 or 10 let's just go with 9 so we also have like a subtle green with it so finally our final result looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and you can also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this follow me on instagram and if you want to support more you can just go over to my site and grab some of my preset pack they are all super dope so you can grab it so yeah see you in next video peace